A lot of people think Saitama is just a gay character. I mean, he's this guy who can beat anyone with a single punch. And the story plays with that absurdity. But here's the thing. Saitama isn't a gay character at all. In fact, I'd argue he's a deeply serious character. He just happens to face a different kind of struggle than what we're used to seeing in other shonen protagonists. In most shonen stories, the protagonist is usually driven by some life-altering incident. Goku, for example, starts out looking for the Dragon Balls, and along the way, he develops a passion for fighting, constantly pushing himself to become stronger. Naruto, on the other hand, is ostracized by his village. He's seen as an outcast, and so his goal becomes to gain their acceptance by becoming the strongest Okage. These heroes are all set on a path where the central drive is to acquire power, power that will eventually help them confront whatever problem they're dealing with, whether it's an enemy or an internal conflict. But Saitama, he flips that narrative on its head. Saitama doesn't spend one punch man looking to become more powerful, or striving for some lofty goal that will grant him strength. He's already surpassed that. He's done it. He broke through his physical limitations and gained the ability to defeat any opponent with a single punch. Instead of reveling in his new profound strength, he's left empty, disconnected. Saitama's struggle isn't about becoming stronger. It's about finding meaning now that he is the strongest. That's what makes him stand out. While other shonen protagonists are still chasing that idea of power, Saitama's arc is about what happens when you've already reached the peak and you realize the climb was the only thing keeping you motivated. In the beginning, Saitama had that passion. He wanted to be a hero, someone who could protect people and make a difference in the world. But he gained more power than he ever expected. And suddenly, the journey was over. All the challenges disappeared. He could end any fight in one punch. And that simplicity, that ease, completely robbed him of the thrill of being a hero. His victory was guaranteed before the fight ever begun. And here's where the real depth of his character starts to show. Most stories don't answer the question of what comes next. What happens when the hero becomes the strongest? We're used to seeing our protagonists overcome obstacles, gain power and eventually save the day. The end credits roll and we're left to assume that they go on living their lives in peace. But One Punch Man tackles this head on. What do you do when there are no more obstacles? What do you do when you've already won? For Saitama, the answer is that you start to feel numb. The very thing that gave him purpose, the struggle, the fight, the effort, it's all gone. His power, instead of being a blessing, becomes a curse. He's not chasing anything anymore. He's not proving himself to anyone. He's just there, drifting through life without a goal, without a challenge. And this is where King's advice comes in. There's this really important moment where King, who is arguably one of the weakest characters in terms of actual fighting power, says something deeply insightful to Saitama. He tells him, Life is a journey with no destination. What he's saying is that being a hero isn't just about being the strongest. It's not about reaching some ultimate form of power and then calling it a day. Being a hero is about continuously growing. It's not just physically, but emotionally and mentally. King essentially asks Saitama, aren't you confusing becoming the strongest with having accomplished your goal? And that's key here. Saitama thinks that by becoming the strongest, he's achieved everything he set out to do. But in reality, his journey as a hero isn't over. It's barely even begun. A hero's existence is supposed to be about helping others, about contributing to society. It's not about seeking personal fulfillment through fighting because that's ultimately a selfish goal. What Saitama has to realize, and this is where his character development is quietly happening, is that being a hero isn't about him. It's about the people he saves. His personal struggle, his boredom, his quest for meaning, they're all distractions from what really matters. And that's what King is pointing out. Saitama still has room to grow, but it's not about becoming stronger. It's about understanding what it means to be a hero. This realization comes to a head during Saitama's fight with Cosmic Garo. For the first time in a long time, Saitama actually feels something during this battle. 
He gets angry. He lets loose in a way we've never seen before. And for a moment, he stops thinking about everyone else. About the world. About the people he's supposed to protect. He unleashes his full power. And if Blast hadn't teleported them into space, he might have destroyed the Earth without even realizing it. This moment is so important because it shows us that Saitama's journey is far from over. Sure, he's the strongest. But that doesn't mean he's the best hero. His battle with Garo is in just a fight. It's a turning point for Saitama as a character. In that moment of anger, we see the potential for danger in his power. He's so far beyond everyone else that he could accidentally cause more harm than good. And that's a wake-up call. Even if the series doesn't directly spell it out. Even though Saitama reverses time and forgets the events of the battle, that doesn't mean his development is erased. The fact that this event happened at all shows us that Saitama is still learning. He's still figuring out what it means to be a hero. His strength isn't the answer to everything. It's a tool, sure, but it's not the end of his journey. And I think that's what makes Saitama such a fascinating character. He's not a gag. He's not a joke. He's the embodiment of a question that most stories never ask. What do you do when the fight is over? How do you find meaning when you've already won? Saitama's struggle is internal, and it's one that we rarely get to see in Shonen. Ultimately, One Punch Man is about more than just a guy who can win every fight with a single punch. It's about a man who's trying to rediscover his purpose. Who's learning that being a hero isn't about being the strongest. It's about the journey. And for Saitama, that journey is just beginning.